All right, here's our second lesson. This is section 1.2 in the book, The Order of Operations. This is something you've probably already learned uh, before, so we can go through it pretty quickly. And just remember, you can always pause the video to copy down the vocabulary definitions and then resume. So two vocabulary words. First is evaluate. So a lot of times the directions for a problem will ask you to evaluate an expression. And all that means is to find the value, simplify it down to a single number. So you might start with something like three parentheses, two plus five close parentheses to the, I don't know, third power. And they'll say, evaluate this expression. So what they just mean is, follow the order of operations and finally get a single answer. So we'll go, uh, order of operations, let me jump down here to PEMDAS. Hopefully you've already learned this. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division together, then addition and subtraction together. And the these go left to right, and these go left to right. But I'll kind of explain a little more about shortcuts uh, in a second. So the order of operations is just a set of rules that tells you what order to go. So you memorize PEMDAS and you're good to go. So parentheses come first. Uh, 2 plus 5 is 7. We did that first to the third power. Okay, so 7 to the third power. Let me grab a calculator and do that real quick. 7 to the third power is 343. So this is 3 times 343. Notice it was important to do the exponent before I multiply by 3. And now finally I can multiply by 3 and get my final answer, which is 1,029. So we follow the order of operations to simplify or evaluate an expression. Okay, so how do we tell uh, what order to do things in? Well, according to uh, PEMDAS, multiplication and division are on the same level, and so we do them left to right. Likewise, addition and subtraction are on the same level, so we do them left to right. However, with multiplication and division, um, even though you're supposed to do them left to right, in most cases, um, if you just have a whole bunch of multiplication and division all together, you can do them in actually any order you want, because uh, when you switch the order of two numbers being multiplied together, it doesn't actually change the result. So that allows you to do some canceling. And then let me just show you an example. I think it'll make more sense. So if you have 3 times 6 times... 20 divided by um, 40, you could, for example, multiply from left to right 3 times 6 times 20, get a giant answer, and then divide that giant answer by 40. But a much better way to do this is to divide the 20 by 40, or just reduce, if you think about it like that, reduce the 20 and the 40 to a one-half. So you're doing the division first, and it's on the right-hand side, but again, the order doesn't matter as long as it's just multiplication and division together, and only those two. If there was any addition or subtraction mixed in, or any parentheses or exponents, obviously that would me uh, mess things up and you have to follow PEMDAS, but if you're only looking at multiplication and division, uh, reduce first, and now we go 3 times 6 is 18, divided by 2 is 9, which is a lot smaller and easier numbers to deal with. Okay, so two quick examples. Um, first with just numbers, so we're going to follow PEMDAS. PEMDAS says do parentheses first, so within these parentheses. Uh, then we follow PEMDAS even inside the parentheses, and next after parentheses is exponents. So this exponent here we're going to do first. 5 squared is 25. 2 minus 25 is negative 23. And a lot of times you can do one or two steps, and then it's good to rewrite uh, what you had. So 4 plus 3 times that, and we still have a negative 3 here at the back. So now we want to follow PEMDAS again. You're very tempted to go 4 plus 3 is 7, uh, because it's right there in the front. It's like so easy to do, but you want to avoid that temptation, and again, follow PEMDAS. So this is addition, this is multiplication, and this is subtraction. So multiplication comes first. 3 times negative 23 is negative 69. We still have 4 plus a negative just becomes subtract and then minus 3. Now these, we can just go left to right. Uh, so 4 minus 69 is negative 65. And then we subtract an additional 3 for a grand total of negative 68. So this is evaluating an expression or simplifying an expression by following PEMDAS. Okay, the next one is evaluate an expression with variables in it when given what those variables are. So if they tell us what x and y are, all we have to do is substitute those in. Substitute is just another way of saying plug those in, and then simplify. So here we have 4, and then this x squared. If x is equal to 3, then 
x squared is going to be 9 plus 2 times so in these parentheses I'm going to do y minus 5 well y is 2 so think about putting a 2 right here 2 minus 5 is negative 3 so we can plug that in divide it by here we have x times y squared so x was 3 times y squared if y is 2 then 2 squared right here is going to be a 4 plus 4 okay now here's something very very important when you have a fraction bar even though there's no parentheses explicitly drawn um, it's it's as if there are parentheses in the numerator enclosing the entire thing and in the denominator enclosing the entire thing so you have to simplify the numerator down to a single number first and the denominator down to a single number first uh, because there's things that are added or subtracted like I said up here if it was only multiplication and division we could reduce and cancel bits and pieces but anytime we're mixing addition and subtraction with multiplication uh, then we have to follow PEMDAS explicitly and that says do all of this stuff in the numerator first then divide by the final answer so uh, let's go back to red here 4 times 9 there is 36 right here uh, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 so plus a negative 6 becomes minus 6 in the denominator uh, 3 times 4 is 12 12 plus 4 is 16 okay if we subtract 36 minus 6 we get 30 divided by 16 and now here we can reduce of course um, they both have a factor of 2 so divide the top and the bottom by 2 and we get 15 over 8 and you're welcome to leave your answer as an improper fraction like this that's the perfect answer. So this is um, just a quick recap of PEMDAS evaluating expressions by simplifying following parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division together, and then lastly addition and subtraction together. So keep careful eye on these fraction bars and careful eye on your minus signs and I'll see you in class.